Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, I got my coffee, my hand sanitizer, my earbuds, and I've got my watch boxes. Now today I want to talk about a perfect three-piece collection. You might have seen more and more videos about this. Uh, people seem to think that three is really a nice number if uh, you want to simplify your life, make it perfect. Sometimes less is more. It could be two, could be one even. Uh, it's another... A uh, great question, which one is the perfect watch? You know, for example, if you have a Vacheron Constantin overseas dual time, do you really need anything more? It, it can do everything, or maybe the Aquaterra or the uh, Explorer. We've talked about this uh, before. So I was looking at my collection and I realized that I had uh, several perfect three-piece collections and I wanted to suggest them to you. Maybe look at your, your box, you can do the, the same. Or if you're new to the, the hobby and you're trying to build a collection, hopefully this is going to inspire you uh, obviously it's hard to get to uh, to the point of having just three watches at first you want to hold them you want to keep them all you want to try a lot of different things different brands different colors different sizes uh, and then you can really zero in on what you really love first thing first on my wrist today i have the beautiful uh, seiko king turtle as it, as it is called this is the grenade colored one really really a cool watch i don't have my seikos with me so i'm going to present to you five different, fairly great quality uh, three-piece collections. Uh, but if I had to do one with the Seiko, this diver would probably be in it. You know that the Captain Willard reissue is coming soon, but the uh, Turtle is really the modern incarnation of, uh, of that original uh, diver, the 6105 from Seiko. So, and I really enjoy this one. I also like my mini Turtle Paddy. It could be a great one if you have a smaller wrist. I uh, really love this one. So for, and for an everyday, a piece for the office, do everything, it's steel model. I would go for the Saab. Uh, you know, yes, the Presage models are nice, but they're a bit more, a bit more delicate looking. Uh, I think the Saab 033 has been so good to me. I would uh, add that to my three-piece collection. And then for the third piece, I would take something uh, a bit more fun, uh, a bit more unusual. It could be the Alpinist in whatever color you, you like. You can even put it on a two-tone bracelet or why not have their day just homage i've kept one and i really like it and or if you want to go quartz uh, maybe the, the flight master you get a brightling uh, look and you get that uh, that chronograph now do you need to have a chronograph in a three-piece collection yes and no if you have a diver it's very easy to time things with the rotating bezel obviously chronograph is much more precise and uh, it looks cool so it, it's up to you uh, it's great to have some complications. Like I like to have a GMT, maybe a chronograph, definitely a, a diver for, for the beach, for uh, you know, water activities. And so my idea for the pieces, the collections I'm going to show you is to have one a precious metal uh, watch, if possible, something that you really take care of, that you probably will pass on to the next generation if you have kids. And something you, you be careful with, you don't wear in the rain, probably. Then you're going to need a, an everyday steel piece to get things done. Usually Rolex is the, the way to go, but there are uh, other options. And then uh, another, another piece will be with a complication or something a bit more vintage, uh, something or uh, maybe a chronograph. So let's see what, uh, what I've got for you. Here is the first perfect three-piece collection. You know these watches, and let's explain a bit what, what we have here. We have your perfect everyday piece, beautiful teak deck uh, dial, the Omega Seamaster Aquaterra. The Seamaster, the origin in the 50s, was supposed to be a, an everyday dress watch with some good water resistance. And this is what the Aquaterra has really managed to do, because the Seamaster became a diver, it became many different things. But really, this is what the original Seamaster ID was. And uh, it is perfectly realized here. This is a perfect watch at the office because it's got polished links. Uh, it's great at the beach. 150 meters of water resistance. You have a display case back on a beautiful anti-magnetic, almost a-magnetic caliber 8500 in this one. The date is discreet. You have Loom at night. It's a lovely watch. And you have a different sizes, different colors available. I like the blue one, it's really, really neat. And I like the smaller version, the 38.5 millimeter, a bit more classic, even if, you, if I could wear the, the 41 with no, with no problem. 
So really, this is your everyday piece at the office, but you can keep it outside and it's no, no problem. It's also the, the stunner of this collection. This one is the more affordable one. There's no re, there's no precious metal in, in this one. There will be precious metal in the next tree that I will propose to you. Next to it, another mega, but how can you not have the moon watch with the Hesalite crystal? And it's, you know, in a way, it's the one that you want to care for. In a way, this is the precious one in the collection. It won't be as water resistant, but it's definitely resistant to, to shocks. Although it's a sports piece, it's also such a, a classic. Uh, it, it can be considered the, the classic watch uh, in, in the box here. I really love this bracelet. It's very comfortable. It's a, it's a bit bigger, but you can still wear it, I think, uh, if you have a small small wrist, I think it's really lovely. If not, you can always go for the, the reduced reduced version. But I really love this one. And I paid about the same because I got the, my Aquaterra used, but in mint condition, full set. And I got uh, my Speedmaster on the gray market, full set, brand new with my name on the warranty card, with my birthday on the warranty card as well. And Omega serviced it when it had been magnetized for free. Uh, no, no issue there. And again, around the same price as these two, the Tudor Black Bay 58, beautiful vintage size, 39 millimeter here. It's your diver, but again, you can wear it in any circumstance. These three are really fantastic for, for anything, but really you go to the beach. Uh, if you're really going to go uh, underwater, you want this 200 meters of water resistance. You want the, the diving bezel. It's got modern colors, this uh, golden hue. It adds, you have a lot of color in this, in this three-piece collection. That's, I, like, I like it a lot. Uh, a bit of gold, a bit of blue. Uh, you get a pop of red. It's a little sister to Rolex, so you get the great quality here on the, on the case. It's a bit modern here with the semester, although the inspiration of the idea of the watch is, uh, is vintage. Then you have a watch that has never changed. And this one is also a modern reincarnation. Of, uh, of vintage references from the Tudor brand and Rolex brand. So this is my first suggestion. I think if you have this, you're really set for, for life. This is gonna set you back about, what, $10,000 if you, if you buy them well, second hand for the semester, gray market here, and brand new, or even second hand now, the prices are gonna come off a bit on, the, on this Tudor. You can go wrong. Now let's move on. Let's say you don't want to have the same watch as everybody else. You don't want any, uh, any of these. You want something completely different. Well, this is what I have for you, for you today. And uh, you'll be hard pressed to find someone with the same collection or even the same watch on, on the wrist. So for your precious metal, your beautiful piece, this is the uh, Gégère Le Coultre uh, Master Control. Memovox International, also known as the World Time. So you have the alarm function. This is the rose gold version. So it's a limited uh, edition of 250 pieces. So I like to have uh, this uh, sort of world time function in the, in the center to calculate what time it is on the other side of the world. You have a day that clicks in at midnight. Master control is very precise. This watch is incredibly accurate, even after several years without, I think, a proper service. The alarm function is very useful. Like me, if you forget that you have a meeting uh, upcoming in the day or you have to pick up the kids, it's very practical. You know, it's a bit of a bigger piece. It's a bit of a flashier piece. Although it has decent water resistance, you don't really want to be caught in the rain with that beautiful Jejo Le uh, bluish strap that I, that I have it on. And you even have the rose gold deploy and clasp. This is the, the stunner piece of your, your collection the precious uh, metal. Then for, to, do, to get shit done, you know, as they say, to get things done, uh, to get through the day, uh, a piece that you don't have to think about, you don't even have to set the date, but a piece that not everybody has on the wrist. This is the uh, Rolex Milgauss uh, with the blue dial, uh, the green crystal, those pops of orange on the minute track and, uh, and, and, the, and the seconds hand. It is the scientist's watch, but you can, you, you look fantastic with this uh, at the beach. You got a water resistance, famous uh, from uh, Rolex. Uh, but at the same time, it's a, you got a polish center link, so it looks great at the office as well. So this watch has it all, and you can keep it at night where the loom is going to be great. Yeah, it's the most unusual Rolex you can have. If you, this is the collection for the people who want something different. And speaking of difference, we have the Zenit El Primero 
A384 revival that just came out. Absolutely smashing case. And uh, it brings something different, a different shape in the collection, which is great. You know, always think about the, uh, the reversal from uh, Jejo Le Coult has an option. Uh, and they have different versions, more sportier ones, dressier ones. It's also a great piece to have in a collection. Here, it's not quite rectangular, uh, but it's more like a tonneau shaped with the inner uh, tachymeter. High B chronograph, very interesting, beautiful uh, on, the, on the case back, uh, which is uh, open. And uh, there's a lot of great finish uh, on this movement, including a blue column wheel. High bead, very accurate. Uh, you even have a, a date, you have the, the Panda, a very charming watch. It's a bit of the, the vintage throwback here in this, uh, in, in this collection. And absolutely lovely with uh, even loom, so you can still wear it at night. But it's on leather, so you don't want to have it wet. And obviously it's a chronograph, never to operate under, under water. So this is the collection for the uh, Contrarian, if you want something unusual. Moving on to something uh, a bit more, a bit more classic. Very classic indeed. So here it's for the person who really doesn't want to have a date window. There are some people like that. Personally, I really love to have the date, uh, but I'd also appreciate my no date watches to, to no end. So here we have a Patek Philippe 5134G. So this is white gold, very Beautiful, very precious, a classic among classics, a Patek Calatrava, 36 millimeters. But with the addition of the travel time function, uh, it takes a bit more estate on the wrist, and especially with those crown guard uh, uh, as well. Very voluptuous case, beautiful case back. It's a manual wine. You gotta have this one. And if you shop around, they're coming uh, down in prices. There are different dial versions, different colors. You can have it in rose gold with Breguet numerals. This is the one I prefer, white gold with the three nine numerals. It's very lovely with a uh, sector dial or something that's also very nice to have in a, in a collection. And it plays with the, the light around you a lot. So on top you have the uh, 24 hour dial uh, that would be normally your, your, your home time. And at the bottom you have the uh, running seconds here. Uh, but here I use it as a GMT. Normally you use it a uh, different way. You keep your home time. And then uh, you decouple the, the hands, that skeleton hands, and the, the hour hand here when you, when you travel. Love this watch, love the Calatrava cross buckle. You gotta have, it's a classic to have. You have a Patek and a Rolex, I mean, you're, you're set for life. What else do you, do you really need? But maybe a, a diver or something a bit retro, a bit, bit funky. Uh, this will never go out of fashion. This will always keep its value. And it's a watch you'll be proud to pass on to the next generation. But then so is the uh, Rolex Explorer. This is the current version with the Loom 369. Great everyday watch. No need to set the date again. Perfect to pick up in the morning. You never have to think twice. When I don't know what to wear, I, I, just, I just pick up this watch because I love it all the time. I love wearing it at night. It's very slim. It's like, uh, it's like a super day just in a, in a way, a sporty day just. Uh, well, there's no date, so it's more like the sporty uh, Oyster Perpetual. And I, I love how they made it a bit more modern than the 36 millimeter version. Uh, I love having the Easy Link. Again, it's a perfect everyday convenience to, to have. Uh, personally, I prefer this size than the 36 millimeter, and these are very complementary. Uh, you have both. And then for uh, a diver, which doubles as a chronograph function because you can use, uh, use it to uh, time events uh, of, uh, up, to, uh, up to an hour. We have this uh, Longines, another very classic brand, you know, Rolex, Patek Philippe Longines. Longines used to be the Rolex of the, of the, the 50s and 60s, you know, it was a mega brand. It's still a mega brand, but a bit looked down on because they use ETA movements. But in a way, it is in-house because it's part of the, the group that they are part of. But this is one of the most beloved watches it's, uh, it's really one of the watches that started the whole reissue thing. Uh, it's a reissue of their 60s diver. Uh, a couple of different models that they put to, together to, to create this. But it, but it is quite faithful in the size. It's a super compressor case. Uh, so, so a bit like uh, Jejo Le Coultre does. So you get the two crowns as well. Sign. It's really beautifully made. Incredibly accurate uh, ETA movement. It's probably the... Um, 
uh, elaborate uh, one of the top grade movements here. Uh, a bit of Fortina, you know, adds a bit of color to this uh, otherwise fairly classic uh, three piece collection. Uh, this is the no date version, which is more desirable, keeps its value. Not many Longines have that uh, advantage. And uh, I love the font used, the, the case. And I prefer this over the uh, Oris Diver 65. I think it's much more substantial of a watch. And I like the Seclos strap. The little miners uh, keep breaking. Uh, I just broke one here, so only one is left. Uh, it's got a nice, nice buckle. You can put it on NATO. This is more like your, your fun weekend sports watch, uh, the, the one that can take a few knocks. And it's going to look better with a few scratches because it's meant to to look like a vintage watch. So, hey, why not put a few scratches in, uh, in this one more than the, the Rolex even. So there you go. This is the uh, No Date collection. And then now we're going to go for the big budget collection. Here we are. So for the precious metal, the one you're going to wear at the office, the one you're going to wear for uh, maybe a wedding or a cocktail event, it is the Alange Unzerne. 1815 annual calendar, a beautiful complication originated by uh, Patek Philippe, but Longer makes it uh, in, a, in a different way here uh, by putting the, the day and the date into the same subdial, the month on the right, and a beautiful moon face. So the, what's great with this watch is how legible it is. The, those blued hands are gonna, there's even AR coating on, on it. Those blue hands are going to pop. You look at the, the watch. They're going to pop out of this beautiful sterling silver dial with a, with a beautiful coating. Then you can dive into the, the more details, the beautiful moon face here, accurate to 122 years. It is also fashion of white gold, uh, like the, the small hands. It's a pleasure to wind and it has great practicality as well. So you can put it down for the whole weekend. It has three days of power reserve. It will still run. So it, it's outdoing Patek's own annual calendars, which usually only have 38 hours of power reserve. And a friend of mine who has one beautiful 5146 complains about that. He says, you know, I just can't put it down. If I wear my, my meal gals for a day or two, then I have to reset the, the whole thing. You can put this down for a month. All you got to do is uh, press a few times the side pusher and everything will be readjusted uh, automatically in a in synchronized fashion, which is amazingly convenient. So with the three days of power reserve, it's really no problem to have a manual wind because it's such a pleasure to, to wind it. And also it keeps the, the view on the back, which is absolutely stunning, unobstructed. From a distance, it really, it really pops. People know you have something of amazing amazing quality when you wear this watch and at the same time it's very discreet it's not a flashy flashy piece like a, like a rolex day date would be although it is in the same price range but i got this second hand so uh hopefully it will keep its value in the long term they don't make that many of these they make they make a lot less of these than they do of the of the patek for example uh, but they tend to they tend to be a bit soft on the secondary market so look uh, look into it or maybe the uh, 1815 up down version which is uh it doesn't have the calendar but has a power reserve and the running seconds beautiful uh, little watches which are more affordable now for your everyday do it all pieces well i have two here really what i often pick up and wear all through the weekend but also at the office is my sea dweller 4000 4000 4000 feet uh, it is the discontinued model so it's going to keep good value it's a sort of the model now because it didn't get really ultra wide lugs on the, on the maxi case here. It's not really a maxi case, but it gets the maxi dial. It doesn't have the, the cyclop. So it, it wears petite from the top. Uh, it wears very symmetrical, but you have the seed oil appointments with the fully graduated bezel. Uh, it is not that thick, that much thicker than, uh, than a submariner. Obviously you can't go wrong if you have a submariner, uh, but you get the glide lock which I love and I use a lot because in a, in a humid country, if you go inside and outside, your wrist is going gonna, is gonna to swell and, a re and then uh, contract a lot throughout the day. I love the loom at night. This, this is, if I have to have just one watch, this is it. Uh, it still looks good with a, with a suit, obviously, uh, but this or this, 
if you ask me for one watch uh, recommendation, uh, they, they, this would be it because they have the water resistance as well. <coughs> and to, to add a complication to this uh, trio and, and a bit of a vintage flair as well, obviously the, the longer has the visual codes of the pocket watch era of, of longer. Uh, but this is uh, an actual watch that almost becomes vintage and it's still very uh, affordable, you know, to some extent, and so usable. So this is the very sleek 40mm discontinued Explorer 2 with the polar dial, very original. You need something uh, original in your, in your collection. And I, I love how the fixed bezel is just cool, you know, the steel. It's like the steel Daytonas. They're, they're a bit more cool, I think, than the ceramic. Straight stuff here, simple class, but you can always adjust it on the fly with a, with a toothpick. I've worn this a lot on the holidays and uh, at the office, it, you know, just keep it on, you know, after the weekend. It, it's still going to look beautiful. It, it's a great holiday piece, not as valuable as the other two. So even if it was stolen or, or whatever, it, you know, it's not going to be that much of a, of a hit compared to the, the other two pieces here. But at the same time, you got the GMT, so it's so, it's so convenient to, to travel with it and uh, keep track of uh, your loved ones if they are abroad. Uh, really a beautiful, beautiful piece. But it doesn't stop here. I have uh, one more three-piece collection to suggest to you. All right, let's open this Chrono Keeper pouch. People love this, but the problem is it doesn't stay open. You see, you have to hold it all the time. So not great for the purpose of a video indeed. So now I have more affordable uh, watches, but still very, very cool. I mean, not affordable, the Zenith here, I've had around 3000 US. They tend to, to trade for a bit uh, higher than that. But for what you get, high beat, chronograph, display case back, and a very legible calendar. It's not an annual, so you're going to have to adjust it five times uh, a year at the end of the, uh, the months in uh, 30 or uh, and at the end of the February uh, month. But apart from that, you get the, the moon phase. You get this uh, beautiful classic case, very Patek-like, uh, big, big lugs. I've put it, this is not the original strap or the original buckle. I have them uh, in, the, in the box. I have the full set. This is a chronometer, chronometer grade uh, movement. They're not all like that, so be careful. The later ones uh, didn't get the certificate, but I have the full certificate for, for this watch. You might say, hey, if you have a longer, why, you need, why do you need this? But I like the way the, the information is displayed. It's a lot more uh, legible, actually, than the longer um, with those little windows here. Uh, it's cool to have the, the mix of the chronograph and the calendar, which is a signature Patek complication. And you see the, I think it's called Cadrons, uh, the, the, the steps here. Even the Sapphire adds one more step to the design here. So it's a very cool watch if you want this kind of look, this kind of uh, multi-complication look, but can't really afford uh, one of the Holy Trinity pieces. And uh, you still get an excellent maker, Zenith, you know, it's no slouch. When they were making these watches, they were providing the El Primero to a Rolex, uh, which was detuned to uh, 4 Hertz. Here you have the, the high beat version. So it's a bit more, a bit more fragile. It's going to cost you a bit more to service. So be careful with, with this one. Uh, it is your event, event piece, uh, let's say. Then for an everyday piece, you have uh, this uh, lovely Maurice Lacroix icon. Yeah, somewhat derivative of the uh, Royal Oak, obviously. But I just love how it wears. It just hurts my wrist and has never, never felt uncomfortable. Although there's no adjustment, there's just some watches like this. S some of them, I don't know, even if you leave a bit of slack, they become, they trap your wrist. This one, I can wear it outside on the weekend at the pool. It just feels great all the time. I sleep with it. The, the loom is lovely, uh, comparable to uh, the moon watch, if you know how the moon watch loom uh, would be with a very long uh, markers here. The Celita is an elaborate uh, version, so very accurate, just like in the Longines. Uh, the date clicks in right at midnight. You know, adventure to say this is a, a lot more, uh, a lot better as an everyday watch 
than a rhyolog would be. Rhyolog doesn't have near uh, this uh, type of water resistance. This one is 200 meters of water resistance. You can even dive with it if you want. And still you have that beautiful dial and with the AR coating, uh, you have a lot of play with the light. It, sometimes it looks gray, uh, grayish, stunning, stunning watch. And uh, I think when you see it in person, uh, all is forgiven and uh, you will really love it. Like uh, those polished bevels, the brushing, it's really beautifully made. And uh, after all, those clothes are part of the DNA of Maurice Lacroix. And then you need a, a chronograph, a little sports watch on rubber. <coughs> so here you have leather, uh, steel and rubber. This is the Speedmaster Racing, so the baby sister to the, the moon watch. But this one has all the bells and whistles, coaxial, escapement. You have uh, AR coating, you have silicone hairspring. It's a column wheel chronograph. You have a date. So really it gives you everything. Uh, it's a four hertz uh, as well, unlike many coaxials, which are really detuned detune to 25,200 beats per hour. Here you have the 28,800. Uh, lovely uh, little patterns here, very sporty. Uh, you get the same patterns in the subdials as you have on the rubber strap with the cool Speedmaster. Very easy to adjust on the fly. So it's an easy watch to uh, pass on to your kids if you, uh, if you want. Uh, deploy and clasp. Uh, it's integrated. Uh, it's not a reduce, so everything is integrated here. It's caliber 3330 based on the, uh, the Valjou. I really love the, the bezel here, the tachymeter bezel uh, and all those dashes of yellow. Just a super cool watch. Uh, the AR coating on this watch is one of the best I've ever seen. Uh, really in uh, outside, it often looks like there is no, no crystal at all inside. Obviously, it's going to reflect a bit more the artificial light. Very cool watch and a great complement for a fun, more affordable uh, three-piece collection. So let me know in the comments which of these collections you prefer, which one speaks to you the most, and uh, give me the list from your watch box of the perfect three-piece collection that you already have, or let me know which uh, ones you would uh, suggest. You know, there are many, many, many options available. Uh, these are just uh, a few. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying with me. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye-bye.